NHL Draft, engineered by the 2010 GMC Sierra. Never send a truck to do a Sierra's job. Putting the G in GMC would be Eric Goodbranson. What a performance he turned in this year to just shoot past some of those defensemen that we talked about in the last segment. And I guess uh, I guess the prognosticators had it right at the end. They expected him to be the first defenseman taken, and he certainly was. And Florida could not be happier. Eric with Rob Simpson. Eric, uh, first of all, top defenseman picked, which is nice. Your stock has kind of risen over the last few months. Uh, must be a, not necessarily even a surprise for you, but nice to be the top D-man to go. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it is. is it, an, it gives me an element of pride. You know, I worked hard for it, and, uh, you know, it is nice to be recognized for what I've done. And, you know, it's a true honor to be uh, drafted in the National Hockey League, let alone uh, the top defenseman. It's been unbelievable. You mentioned that you talked uh, with Florida at the Combine, and you had a chat with him yesterday, but they kind of kept things top secret. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, they made an element of surprise. They told me at the table that I was their guy no matter what, and uh, they had no doubt in their mind uh, the whole time, and it was just uh, it was making it interesting, and, you know, it added to my experience. You have a younger brother that uh, has experienced cancer, and he's gone through a lot. And it, it, is it, t tell me how that's a affected you and been a positive thing for you. You know, it's, it's made me mature uh, beyond my age. I think that, uh, you know, it's given me uh, certain qualities that I didn't know I had. It's brought out things that I didn't know I had and uh, made me uh, more determined. It's made me uh, more mature, more of a professional. And, uh, you know, it's shown me that uh, positivity can bring you far in this world. How's he doing? Very well. He's going to be a cure on August 18th. Excellent. Um, you won the award for Scholastic Player of the Year in the Ontario Hockey League. Does that smarts transfer to the ice? Is that one of your, your things? I think so. I think uh, I am a smart player on the ice. And I think uh, I, I always understood that doing well in the classroom and uh, all that stuff brings uh, brings out good stuff in the, on the ice, and uh, that's what I tried to do this year. When do you think this sinks in? Well, I don't know. It definitely hasn't yet, I'll tell you that much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. He had to think about it, and the guy in the three-hole last year was Matt Duchesne, pretty good scholastic guy too, and you love hearing from those kids who are just so in tune with everything, and that speaks to their maturity. And, you know, he's had to mature an awful lot with his younger sibling who battled cancer and is hopefully five years cancer-free this summer. It's been an amazing run for a kid who's uh, not the most offensive guy, and again, that speaks to his overall ability. Well, it does. It's been a rapid ascent up the draft chart for Eric Goodbranson, culminating in the number three overall pick. And Here's a guy who's a leader as a captain of the under-18 team in Canada and a big, physical, mean defenseman in the era of puck-moving, slick-skating D-man. There's still a spot for a guy who's a crease clear, plays nasty in front of the net. Florida Panthers saw what Chris Pronger did in the playoffs. They realized that having a big old guy to anchor your blue line is never a bad thing, and that's what they think they found in Eric. Well, it was